out here today with an absolutely gorgeous set of pistols offered exclusively through our friends at Davis's Distributors in Arizona and made by Colt. They are the Samuel Colt Commemorative 1911s. They're offered in high polished stainless steel and also in Colt's beautiful royal blue finish. If, you, if you're not familiar with Colt's royal blue finish, uh, they did this like on in the pre-war guns and they're just absolutely perfect you can, they're mirror bright and it's just it just seems like it's a foot deep they're just the beautifulest blue finish that you'd ever want to see on a gun the stainless guns are very highly polished and they look like nickel from like the old nickel 1911s from back in the day they're just absolutely gorgeous pistols they're each uh, there's 500 of each of them being made and that's it and they're not going to be easy to find but they are worth the effort to try to track you down one the uh, stainless model which i have here is um it's all highly polished like i said the slide on both of them is fully engraved on the top and on the sides by baron technologies and it's just a gorgeous engraving job on the on the stainless pistol the uh the engraving is inked in behind it so the black behind the engraving really stands out beautifully against the slide on the blue they're engraved and it's a beautiful engraving job on those there are also special gold inlays on these pistols on, on the port side there is a uh, gold coat logo which is uh, inlaid into the gun and then back uh, right above the thumb safety there's a rampant coat logo on the opposite side there, there's a banner where it says Colt's Patent Firearms Manufacturing Company, Hartford, Connecticut, USA, and it's really nicely done. And at the back of the slide is a gold inlay of the famous Onion Dome at the Hartford plant where the, where the Colt's are made, and it's, it's really nicely and tastefully done. And on the top of the slide, up here near the front, it's got a, a portrait of Samuel Colt, and it says, God created man. Colonel Colt made him equal. That's an old saying. That's a, a very true thing to say. And it's it's really nicely done. The, the portrait of Sam Colt is just beautiful there. And it really stands out. It's just gorgeous. And down here behind the ejection port, you've got a another logo of the Colt, uh, Hartford, Connecticut, and all that. It's just a, a lot of beautiful gold inlays on this thing. On the stainless gun, People have asked me which I like better. I, I think they're both absolutely gorgeous. I think aesthetically the engraving stands out more on the stainless gun because the ink black on the blue gun, the gold inlays stand out more because it's gold against blue instead of gold against uh, your polished stainless finish. So the, the, the uh, gold inlays really pop on the blue one and the engraving really pops on the stainless one. So it's just whatever you like. It's, I, I love them both. They're, they're great beautifully rendered guns the grips on these are perlite on the stainless gun it's white perlite with a gold pony inlaid on the blue guns it's black perlite with the gold pony similarly inlaid and that gold pony really pops on that black perlite also i would have done a little bit differently i think it would have looked really neat to have the contrast of black pearl on the stainless gun and have the contrast of white pearl on the blue guns but uh, they didn't ask me and uh, i'm, I'm going to leave them as is as a matter of fact uh, those of you who don't like pearl grips on a gun for whatever reason maybe it threatens your manhood or maybe you agree with what george Patton said about pearl handle guns for those of you uh davidson's includes a set of very nice uh checkered double diamond walnut grips that change out very easily and uh for a more traditional look on it i like the pearl grips and i imagine the walnut grips will end up on another 1911. the samuel colt commemorative 1911s from davidson's are based on a series 70 colt they're regular o series and a lot of us will be happy to hear that because we like the series 70 better than the later guns and these are based on the series 70 government model five inch barrel it's got a national match barrel and shoots very well um, the sights are standard GI type, the, uh, the drift adjustable rear and the standard post front. On the stainless gun, the sights have a three dot pattern. On the blue gun, they're just plain blue sights. And uh, 
both of them stand out great other than that they're exactly the same size they're easy to pick up and easy to shoot easy to shoot well the hammer is a standard uh, 1911 hammer is not the not the commander type or not the rail type or anything like that it's a standard hammer the grip safety is a standard grip safety it's not the extended beaver tail grip set grip safety with the bump on it and all that which is fine that's the way the original 1911s were also per the original 1911s you have a, a right hand only thumb safety that's grooved on top and not extended but it's still very easy to work it just it, it works just fine these are traditional 1911 colts based on the government model they also have the short triggers as you'd find on the standard issue government models and they've got the a1 cut right here shooting these samuel colt 1911s was really a delight i mean there's some people going to be horrified that i shot them at all but guns are made to be shot and jeff always used to say too he'd say what would your grandkids rather have some pristine safe queen gun that never been shot and never really been bonded with by its owner or would they rather have granddad's favorite old 1911 pistol shoot your guns take care of your guns they'll take care of you there's no reason why you have to wear a gun out but they're made for shooting they're made for having fun with they're made for defending your life with your life or your loved ones these are made for defending the united states also it's a there's no reason to not shoot these pistols. You can take care of them and still enjoy them. These Samuel Colt 1911s shot like you would expect a Colt 1911 to shoot, and I mean a modern Colt 1911. Back when I was a kid, you'd spend a fortune on a Colt and then you'd spend several hundred more dollars to make it run. They have to polish feed ramps, lower flare the ejection port, which has already got a lower ejection port. It's already got a polished feed ramp. There were no failures to feed, no failures to eject, no failures of any kind, no misfires, nothing. With either one of these pistols, they shoot just great, and they run absolutely 100%. You can't ask for more than that. I've got my Davidson Samuel Colt commemorative in a very nice, beautiful, and functional holster made by my friend Rob Leahy at Simply Rugged Holsters in Prescott, Arizona. This is Rob's version of a World War II era tanker rig, uh, like the armor guys wore back then. It's very simple and functional it just carries the gun right on your chest easy to get to simple retaining strap and you just skin that smoke wagon and go to work these are they're great holsters and rob's had it beautifully tooled up by richard getline in a floral card pattern it's just it's a wonderful holster it's a great holster and it's a uh, from Simply Rugged Holsters in Prescott, Arizona. Also, I've got one of his uh, dual defender mag pouches on this thing. It normally carries just on a belt or whatever, and I often carry it like that, but it holds two magazines very simply, very securely, and it's also from Rob Leahy at Simply Rugged Holsters. The Davidson's limited edition Samuel Coat 1911 is uh, it's basically a dressed up GI gun. It's full, full length barrel and all that. Uh, GI style sights and all and uh, so it's right at home with a with the good old 230 grain ball load like the military used and uh, that's a, a good all-around load it doesn't really expand but when you start out with a 45 caliber bullet you don't really need that much expansion expansion is nice but uh, you don't have to have it they're made to feed in these things and they're, they're what they were designed for A good all-around load for social work is Federal's 230 grain high shock jacketed hollow point white box. They are relatively inexpensive when you can find them, and if anything is relatively inexpensive these days, but uh, they duplicate the ballistics of the 230 grain ball load, the GI load, but to add to that a nicely designed hollow point bullet, it's a good all-around load for self-defense. A good place to get ammo these days, if there is any good place to get ammo, is from uh, our friends at Lucky Gunner. The cool thing about Lucky Gunner is, you know, everybody's out of ammo these days, and Lucky Gunner's out of a lot of different kinds. They've got some stuff in stock. They get different stock in every day, so you keep an eye on them. But uh, the cool thing about them is, if it's showing up on their website, they have it in stock. It's available for immediate purchase, and immediate purchase is probably what you want to do if you want to have some ammo. Um, a lot of folks, you go through their website, you look through what they got, you think you found you a nice load, found a good deal on some ammo or something like that. 
you go to check out and it's not there if at lucky gunner if it shows on the website it's in stock that's a great service The Samuel Colt commemorative 1911 pistols, available exclusively from Davidson's distributors, are an heirloom quality gun. They'd be something that you'd be proud to pass down to future generations in your family. They're not cheap, but they're also not expensive. It's amazing, really, when you think about it, the engraving, the special finishes, the special grips, the limited run of 500 each. It's amazing how cheap they are. Uh, the stainless version is $22.99. The blue version is $21.99, and uh, they're just a bargain at that price, I think. And uh, they're not going to be easy to get, but you can get on to galleryofguns.com, click on the Gun Genie, and uh, you tell them where you're at, your zip code and whatnot, and they'll have dealers in your area contact you looking for your business. It's a great way to buy guns because they're more available than they will be just at your local shop but you're not cutting out your local shop because your local shop is where you're ultimately buying it from and uh, that's a good thing because especially in trying times like these we don't want to cut out our local guys another cool thing about Davidson's is they offer their guaranteed program which is a really neat little program which basically gives you a lifetime warranty over any product that you buy through Davidson's over and above the manufacturer's warranty if you ever have a problem with it they will send you another one and it's it's just that simple this is something that Davidson's does at no additional cost I don't know of anybody else that's doing anything similar so you, your guns come with a manufacturer's warranty and your good guns come with a good manufacturer's warranty and the manufacturers stand behind them but with the Davidson's guaranteed program you eliminate any hassle you just get a hold of Davidson's and they take care of you